Hello, welcome to Nana's Journey. I'm Deanna, and today I'm going to make a baby quilt. I got a kit, and this is Pasture Pals. The fabrics are Barnyard Blues by Susie B, and the pattern is by Wendy Shepherd. I thought I was going to be sewing these together, but this is part of the panel, so I just need to sew the squares together and then put the border on and bind it so it's going to be a lot easier than I thought it was. The quilt will finish at 38 by 48 and here is the pattern. These are going to make the squares. I need one more square from these two than I need from these and that's why it's separated. But these different ones here. This is going to be the binding and a couple squares and this is going to be the border along with a couple squares and this will be the backing and here is the panel I don't know if I can get the whole thing in there but we've got the cows up top the horses down at the bottom and then, of course, we've got them all in the middle with some sheep and pigs, birds. And so I can't give you the cutout sizes because it's not my pattern. But let me get things cut up and ready to go, and I'll meet you at the sewing machine. Okay, I've got my squares. I need 20 for each side column. So I'm just going to put those together in pairs and then sew the pairs together. Okay, now we'll press all of these to one side and get the other columns made and I'll be back. Okay, I've got my rows made and they're all pressed to one side. It doesn't really matter which side you press them to. Now I'm going to put right sides together and I will start with the ends and then just pin it on, on both sides and then I'll sew them down and then I will do that exact same thing for the top two rows. Okay, I've got the two sides on and now I need to pin this on. And what you want to do is nest these seams that are going to meet. 
and pin those down. And do the other side. And then pin the rest of it together and then we will sew it down. Okay, I've got my strips for the borders cut out, and I'm going to do the same thing that I did with these. Put it right sides together, pin it on each side, sew it, and then I will put the ones on the top and the bottom, pin them, sew it, and I will press towards this border because this one has all those seams. This one is pressed towards here. So let me get that pinned and I will see you back at the sewing machine. Okay, I have the top sandwiched and basted. I've done the pre-quilting of stitching like in the ditch. Now for the quilting, I think I'm just going to put X's in these squares. I'll probably do um, a swirl type border on, on there. Um, I don't know what I'm going to do here yet or here. For these panels, I think I'm just going to, you know, like outline the picture that's in there and uh, I'll think of this later. <laughs> I'll figure that out as I go. So let's get to quilting and get this finished.
Okay, the quilt is finished being quilted. I did the details in the middle and the top and the bottom. On the corners, I just outlined the animal in the clouds. Um, in the side patches here, I just did some stippling. I left the blue border blank. I put the X's in the column and I added swirls to the border. And let's see. Here is the back. You can't see the stitching very well, but it's all finished. Thank you for joining me and I hope to see you next time on Nana's Journey.